Welcome to tip number four. Today we're going to be looking at the stamp tool, which can be used as a sneaky way to get images into designs even after they've been converted into PDFs, and also the touch-up object tool. Here's a poster advertising presentation design, and someone's forgotten to put the logo just down here. Not to worry though, we have the stamp tool. So if we head up here to tools, comment and markup, we'll see stamps just here. So we'll, we'll go in there, and you'll see that you already have a big selection of pre-made stamps that you can use for different things in your PDF. But today we're going to create our own custom stamp. So just click on Create Custom Stamp. You then click Browse to navigate through your computer to find the stamp that you're looking for. So if we click here, we'll see the types of files that we can get away with sneaking into the PDF via the stamp. So it's always good to have your images, preferably a JPEG or a PNG, something simple. So mine's a PNG, I'm going to click that. And now the program knows to search for PNG files so that I'll get to my file quicker. Now there's my file just there, so I'll click there and click select. A preview will pop up here. Now my logo is white, so that's why the preview looks a bit silly, but it will come out fine on a darker background. So we'll just click OK. The program then asks you to either create a new category or put your stamp under one of the existing categories. Now I'm just going to go with dynamic and then call it logo. It doesn't really matter where you put your stamp as long as you know where it is. That's all that matters. So we'll click OK. Now that we've turned our image into a stamp, uh, we're ready to go. So if we head up to tools, comment and markup stamps. Remember we, we put our stamp under the category dynamic so we'll look in dynamic to find it. Scroll down. Logo, there she is. So we'll just click on the stamp there. This only applies to digital identity stamps um, which is not how we're using stamps at the moment. We're using them in a sneaky way so we'll just, we'll just click complete and leave it at that. Now you'll see that my mouse has become the logo. So the program's wanting me to place the stamp slash sneaky image um, where on the PDF that I'd like. So I'm just going to pop it down here where it was meant to go. Now I'm quite happy with the size of my logo as it is here. But if you wanted to make it bigger or smaller or move it around a little bit more, the giant arrow tool just here can be used for that. So we'll click down on the arrow and then onto our stamp or sneaky image. And then I might just sort of center it a bit more. There you go. As you start moving things around using the giant arrow, sometimes your selection box can get a bit lost and doesn't seem to follow. If you click on the hand and deselect it and then back on the giant arrow tool and then click on your logo again, your boxes will readjust themselves so you can you can make them bigger or smaller, whatever you like. Now let's take a look at the touch up object tool. Please bear in mind that the touch-up object tool can only really make minor changes to text and images in your PDF. Also, if the PDF that you're trying to edit has any form of security attached to it, you may not be able to make any adjustments, but most of the time you can, so let's get into it. So, it's just here on our toolbar, that's what its icon looks like, but if we head up here to Tools, Advanced Editing, we'll find the touch-up object tool. So, it allows you to select either text or images individually. You can select more than one image or piece of text at a time. If you click on the first one that you want to select, hold down shift on your keyboard and then select the other ones that you'd like, you can bring them all together. We'll just control Z that. It's mainly used if you want to change the location of an image or even the size. As you select it, you'll see these little black squares appear in the corner. You hold down those and press shift, and you can make your images bigger or smaller. So there you have it. You now know a little bit more about stamps and the touch-up object tool. Next week, we're on to tip five of the Blue River Creative Top 10 Tips, and we'll be looking at links and buttons.